T30 Action News, live at 6. Accusations of infidelity and jealousy peppered a preliminary hearing for the Clovis man accused of killing his estranged wife. Authorities say Antonio Saldana also shot the man his wife was allegedly seeing, but that man survived. Today, family members and law enforcement took the stand for the second day of testimony. Thank you for joining us for Action News Live at 6. Good evening, I'm Margot Kim. And I'm Warren Armstrong. Action News reporter Kate Nemerich was in the courtroom for today's hearing. She joins us now live with the tense testimony and the charges Saldana faces at trial. Kate? Warren, Margot, Antonio Saldana will be tried on first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder, as well as child abuse charges. The hearings over the past two days were just to determine if there was enough evidence for the case to move forward. Saldana's sister was one of the people to testify today. At times, interactions with her brother's defense attorney got pretty heated. Ma'am, do you have problems hearing? Yeah, I do. Do you understand? I do have problems hearing. Right, stop. Stop. Counsel, let's go in the back. For two days, witnesses and law enforcement testified in court, giving their accounts of what happened the night of September 20th, 2021. 38-year-old Antonio Saldana Jr. stands accused of shooting and killing his estranged wife, Lisa Saldana, and attempting to kill a man who was with her that night and who she was alleged to be seeing. Authorities say Saldana then shot himself. The homicide happened in the backyard of the Clovis home where the Saldana's five children were at the time. The defendant's sister, Rebecca Garcia, was with her brother that night. She took the stand for a second day and described the couple's relationship as complicated. No one argued whether or not Saldana pulled the trigger, but they did debate the events leading up to the shootings. So just to be clear, you did tell officers that you and the defendant began talking about confronting Lisa at her residence and you were telling your brother that that wasn't a good idea. No, that was never stated. You never told police? No. Garcia claims they first stopped by the liquor store before Saldana drove them to his estranged wife's home. And then um, after I decided to follow him, that's when I heard the first gunshot and tried to run towards him, I don't know, and stop him, but obviously it was too late. Garcia's testimony lasted more than an hour before two detectives on the case and an investigating officer were called to the stand. Before we entered, we made announcements and one of the juveniles um, came out to us and was escorted away from the front door. She appeared to be frightened and scared and was looking to us for a direction. The prosecution used their testimony to argue Saldana knowingly put his children in danger by shooting outside a home the children were in. Ultimately, the judge agreed, accepting five charges of child abuse as well as first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. Given the time it takes to travel from the Oslin address to the San Gabriel address, uh, clearly there's sufficient time for uh, the defendant to have thought about what he was going to do. The defense claims as recently as May of this year, Saldana's sister was in an ongoing relationship with the man he allegedly shot. If convicted on all charges, Saldana will serve 82 years to life in prison. He will return to court for arraignment on September 1st. Warren. 